One of the world's most ambitious construction project, the EuroAfrica Interconnector, is about to take off in Egypt. Egypt, Cyprus, and Greece have come together to construct an undersea electricity cable that will stretch a distance of 1,396 km linking Africa with Europe. The project is set to be the longest interconnector cable in the world, which will have the same distance between Berlin in Germany to Torquay in England. When completed, the $2.7 billion new submerged power highway line will establish a safe and dependable option for transferring electric energy to and from Europe, unite the two continents and kick-start a whole new era of economic development. The EuroAfrica Interconnector comprises the electricity interconnection between the grids of Egypt, Cyprus, and Greece through a sub-CD cable and with HVDC onshore converter stations at each connection point, with a total capacity of 2,000 MW, enough to provide electricity to 3 million households, or the cities of Berlin and Madrid combined together. The project is an energy highway bridging Africa and Europe, with a total length of 1,396 km, which will create a reliable alternative route for the transfer of electric energy to and from Europe. The depth of the lowest point of the Euro-Africa cable along the Mediterranean basin will reach an estimated 3,000 meters, making it the deepest laying of a subsea cable in the world, equal to the height of eight times the Empire State Building, or nine times the Eiffel Tower. Before we go on any further, it is important to understand the background of the project being built at the first place. In February 2017, a cooperation agreement was signed in Cairo between Nasos Ktorides, CEO of the project developer EuroAfrica Interconnector, and the chairman of the Egyptian electricity holding company Gaber Dazauki, in the presence of Egyptian Minister of Electricity Mohamed Shaker El Markabi, for the execution of the project studies. The specific landing points and route of the EuroAfrica Interconnector cable, as well as the locations of the HVDC converter stations were all approved a year later in February 2018. In March the same year, a strategic alliance agreement was signed between Elia Grid International, a subsidiary of Belgium's Elia Group, and EuroAfrica Interconnector for the development and implementation of the project. A joint declaration for the development of the cable system was reached in May 2019 whilst a 33-year land lease deal was signed in June the same year in Cyprus for the HVDC converter station. At the conclusion of the 7th Trilateral Summit, held in Cairo on October 8, 2019, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, President Nikos Anastasiades of Cyprus and Prime Minister of Greece Kyriakos Mitsotakis, issued a joint statement expressing their willingness to pursue cooperation in energy matters. In April 2020, Egypt selected Siemens for the engineering, procurement, construction, and installation contract for the HVDC converter station in the country. The EuroAfrica Interconnector Line will originate near Damietta in Egypt and run for 498 kilometers across sea to connect to HVDC converter station at Kafanu in Cyprus. From there, it will run westwards and again take a subsea route to connect a converter station at Karakia Point in Crete, the largest island of Greece. The length of the Cyprus-Crete segment will be approximately 898 kilometers. In certain regions between Crete and Cyprus, the cable will be laid up to 3,000 meters below sea level in the Mediterranean basin making it the world's deepest undersea cable. It will be capable of transmitting 2,000 megawatts of power in both directions with an annual transmission capacity expected to be 17.5 terawatts hour, which well exceeds the annual output of the Aswan Dam. The project will involve the construction of three HVDC onshore converter stations, one each in Egypt, Cyprus, and Greece, with multi-terminal operations. Each HVDC converter station will incorporate the voltage source converter's technology to convert electricity from AC to DC and vice versa. The converter stations will convert electricity from direct current to alternating current for feeding into their respective transmission grids. The HVDC cable system will include all the required offshore and onshore joints for the project.
The project is estimated to cost $2.7 billion, will be developed in two stages with the first stage having a transmission capacity of 1 gigawatts, which will be further increased to 2 gigawatts in the next stage. When fully operational by 2024, the EuroAfrica interconnector will have the capacity to transmit, to either direction, 2,000 megawatts of electricity, which is enough to power up to 2 million households in peak hours. Upon the completion of its first phase, in 2023, it will transmit 1,000 megawatts of electricity. The first interconnection between Egypt's Buralis gas power plant and Cyprus's Kafanu is expected to be completed in December 2022, according to the project developers. Forecasts have presumed the longest connector between Cyprus and Crete to be established between Kafanu and Fidel by the end of 2023. The EuroAfrica interconnector is the fifth largest of 10 significant transmission and distribution projects in the globe and will look to stay dominant beyond current years, according to energy engineering recruitment organization, Furcroft. Although the expansion of linkages between countries and continents has the potential to improve multilateral cooperation and economic development, critics believe that it has the potential to introduce concerns in the case of supply dependence on non-domestic sources in sometimes unstable regions. Some critics argue that, by centralizing electrical generation sources, disruptions in supply could arise whenever there are complications. There are also concern about the effects of global reliance on gas and oil imports from a preset supply sources. With all these concerns, the EuroAfrica Interconnector project is intended to supply the European Union with the electricity produced from the gas reserves, as well as the available renewable resources in Egypt and Cyprus. It will transmit enough electricity to power up to 2 million households, while promoting the uninterrupted multi-directional flow of electricity through the integration of Cyprus with the Egyptian and the European networks. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from a definitive information about trends and mega constructions projects in Africa, subscribe to the new Africa channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos.